Calvin and George's Conversations with Friends. It starts next Sunday, the 15th of May, on BBC Three, and then all episodes will be on the BBC iPlayer. Uh, congratulations on this. I've watched five or six of them. I Thank you very much. And I didn't mean to. I only meant to watch one didn't or two. Watch them. Ah. <laughs> and then look. Then look what happened. Look what happened. Uh, so, presumably, I mean, is there a lot of pressure on you guys? Because Normal People was such an enormous hit. Mm. I mean, I suppose there's nerves and pressure on anything. It's uh, it's definitely a follow-up of sorts, but I think it's quite nice that even reading the book, it doesn't feel like Normal People Part 2. It's quite different. And whilst kind of aesthetically and tonally it's in the same world and it's Sally Rooney and it's Lenny Abramson who's made it um it feels different I think and that kind of space between is quite nice um to relax in and also what's weird is given that it's her first book not her second book mm. it, it as a story it feels more grown up in mm. that there are more adults in it <laughs> yeah and 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 on that note also because normal people it's there was a more kind of traditional motor driving it with two people you know what you're rooting for when they were together apart together apart and in conversations with friends there's there's a kind of there's four and so there are various possibilities Um, so what are you what are you telling people about those four people how much do you how much do you want viewers to know going in like who are you for instance who am i and who was who are those other three people um so there's Francis, who I am not, <laughs> Nick, who I am, Melissa, um, and Bobby. And um, it's the story's kind of told through Francis, who's a 21-year-old student in at Trinity. And it's a kind of coming-of-age story for her, um, but also a kind of modern love story, um, I suppose, asking at its heart, can you love more than one person at once? Um, and can you find love and happiness and intimacy outside of conventional constructs of relationships, friendships, families, marriage? Can you find, can you break those and find love elsewhere? And I, it's so weird because I met um, Alison Oliver, who plays Francis. Oh, okay. I met her about five or six years ago. She was at school oh, really? with the daughter of uh, some friends of mine. Oh. And she was saying she wanted to be an actress. Of course, I was just smiling and nodding, going, yeah, right, that's going to happen. And uh, now look. <laughs> she's here. And she's amazing in it. I mean, it's her first, it's her first job um, leaving drama school. And she's just, yeah, she's absolutely incredible. And for you, I, I was watching it thinking, how do you pitch playing an actor or do you forget about the fact that you are an actor because obviously if you're an actor mm. you think actors are normal <laughs> what are you implying well I, I think people outside of the industry <laughs> have a different expectation of who an actor might be i think i no, i didn't kind of think about too much the fact that i'm playing i'm an actor playing an actor um i think i i can relate to the weirdness of the job and this and the kind of ups and downs and just the strangeness that comes with it all but um but i didn't kind of think about it too much about the actor side of it and i don't know who the hell is the vocal coach for the production company that makes these but they are good i hope so no I, no seriously <laughs> i was watching it thinking is he from ireland because it was about like with daisy edgar jones her accent was yeah. so flawless yeah uh, so are you just very good at accents well, there's a, there's a brilliant um, dialect coach called Neil Swain um, who worked with me because um, I was the one having to do an accent. Um, and Lenny, who directed it, is actually from that area, which is quite useful. It's a kind of South Dublin accent. So it's quite anglicised in a way anyway, which was sort of useful. But, I mean, I just did a lot of listening to, like, Andrew Scott and Tom Vaughan Lawler and, like, <laughs> the soft kind of South Dublin accent. And... Uh, the character is married to someone who in, who in our story is British and he's been away to drama school in London and stuff. So the idea was that it would be some of those sounds would have become slightly softened. No, it is so subtle, oh, but thanks. so well done. It really is. Thank it you so really, much. really, really, really is impressive. Uh, listen, we'll talk some more, but let's uh, pause for some music. You've chosen a track. Uh, what is it? Any particular reason? I have. Um, I recently watched the Get Back documentary about... Oh, you would tie your hands. <laughs> I know, I did. <laughs> Christmas. Um, well, quite recently. Um, and about the little-known band, The Beatles. And it reminded me of something that probably lots of people can relate to. Growing up, going on summer holidays, um, an endlessly long car journeys down to Cornwall or Devon or over to Wales, and the whole family being packed in the car, and sometimes family friends, and a ridiculous amount of pets we had growing up. I mean, I remember being in the car one year, we had a dog, a few guinea pigs, and a tortoise on our laps. Endless stops at service stations, lots of fighting with siblings, um, 
And but the one kind of consistent thing was there was always a cassette and the tape tended to be the Beatles and for whatever reason um, this song reminds me most of those long agonizing but kind of fun journeys here it is the Beatles bringing back childhood memories from my guest Joe Alwyn you mentioned uh, Wales are you, do you have family in Wales is that where the Alwyn comes from no I don't actually the Alwyn lots of people think I'm Welsh because of that but no uh, the Alwyn is just Alwyn I think actually a few generation, generations ago, it was changed. I think it was, like, Smith or something. Oh, And right. then they just decided, let's mix it up and We're change the name. We're an interesting family. Yeah. But my parents both <laughs> pronounce it differently, so I never really know if it's Alwyn or Alwyn. Oh, I'm so um, glad you say that, because I didn't know. I go with Alwyn. I, I, was just, I think I, it's Alwyn. I was just making a leap yeah. of faith. I was just just like, mutter it. Yeah, and yeah. you didn't stop me, so I thought, oh, <laughs> it's good enough, it's close enough. Got it right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but presumably, uh, you know, as your fame grows, you're going to have to make a decision how to say it. Well, I do say Alwyn. You do say Alwyn, yeah, so, so I'm saying it is. wrong. Oh. I didn't want to say anything, okay, but, Alwyn. you know. Alwyn. I forgive you. Okay, Joe, Alwyn. Alwyn. Uh, now, where did you um, uh, show a song there? Because you now won a Grammy. When did you win your Grammy? Just this most recent Grammys? Uh, the one last year, yeah. Oh, it was last year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you actually have your Grammy? Not on me today. No, no, sadly, no. Didn't bring it in. Yeah. But, yeah, it's uh, I do, I do, which is surreal and quite lovely and is this where they change the rules where everyone who's credited gets a grammy i have no idea um i don't know i think i think if you're part of it or part of something to a, a certain percentage of the album then then the grammy's on the way to you yeah, yeah. so uh yeah it was a nice surreal um bonus <laughs> of lockdown really. well no because you've got to think you know as you head out to be an actor of all the awards you're going to win <laughs> yeah, a grammy a grammy seems unlikely but well done you i'll take it yeah and the other thing i was saying when i was just going through your um your film this there's lots of period costumes in this was this nice to kind of play a, a contemporary person it was really nice not to get into some form of a corset and get on a horse yeah <laughs> to wear a t-shirt and jeans um was quite refreshing and saves a lot of time um as much as i love a bit of sword fighting and a period <laughs> film. Uh, it was nice to be in the 21st century. And uh, I, earlier I was saying, you know, when Bridget, the second Bridgerton came out, mm. people were like, where's the where's the friskiness? Where's the hoo-ha? Mm. Uh, and I was saying, there is no such disappointment with Conversation <laughs> with Friends. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you what you saw in normal people? <laughs> I mean, it's not the same, but it's 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 all. It's yeah, all I mean, there. it's there in the book, and so it's there, and it's there in the series, um, and it's a big part of the story. And actually, for the two characters, particularly Nick and Francis, it's a big part of how they are able to communicate. They're not great speakers, full stop, and not very good at knowing what they're feeling, let alone saying it out loud. But um, but they they're quite good at communicating physically shall and we it's, say n it's never gratuitous Joe it's never gratuitous it's it's well, that's good <laughs> tastefully done. no Lenny I mean Lenny always spoke about those kind of scenes like extensions of conversations and that they're each there with a slightly different meaning and feeling and telling a different kind of story so they're not just there for for the sake of it but no 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 no, 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 no. and is it Croatia in the book is France in the book? Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we went off to Croatia for a month, which was okay. pretty lovely. I thought that was so sweet that you didn't just pretend it was France <laughs> <laughs> in the show. Yeah, <laughs> gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, God. so so truthful. <laughs> and I must give a shout out to um, uh, Kerry Fox, who's so great as yeah. kind of uh, what is, is she a kind of literary agent? She yeah, she sort of plays the literary agent to Melissa, who, who Jemima Kirk plays, and she owns this beautiful villa in Croatia where we all go for a couple of weeks. Wow. And uh, presumably Conversations with Friends is being rolled out across the world. It's, it's starting here on BBC Three, but then it'll be on in America. I think so. I think on May 15th it comes out uh, in America as well on Hulu. Oh, OK. Yeah. So will you be over there promoting it as well? I think I will. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I yeah. will. Yes, I will. And um, do say hello to Alison uh, when you see her on the thing. I will, thing. of course. Cause what, I mean, how exciting for her, though. First I know, gig. I know, it's amazing. I think she's... I mean, she should be absolutely thrilled and... Uh, it's just amazing. She's in every single scene of the thing. Like it's her, it's her story, and she just does the most phenomenal job. Yeah, no, because I, I was, you know, we were watching her and thinking, mm. like, how are you? So able did you to... just recognise her? No, I, when it, the casting was announced, my friends were like texting me, kind oh, of going, okay. "You met her in our kitchen." Okay. <laughs> I was like, I do remember meeting her in your <laughs> kitchen quite a long time I will ago. Remind her. Yeah, but I was just watching it and just thinking, like, how do you? 
know how to do that. You know, in yeah. the, you know, j- j- I think it was just a scene where she was walking down the street or something yeah. and just with no self-consciousness, no awkwardness. I, she yeah. was brilliant. Yeah, she's brilliant. I mean, you're very good too, Joe. I mean, well, obviously, you. but you, you're an old hand. You know what you're doing. <laughs> but uh, anyway, listen, good luck with it. It starts uh, next Sunday uh, on BBC Three and then it's all on the iPlayer so you can binge it because there's a bunch of episodes. How many episodes? I think there's 12 half-hour episodes. So it's the same format as normal people. Wow. Good yeah. luck. Well done, you. Thank you. All right, take care of yourself, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow night at BAFTA, I'll I believe. See you. Yeah. Take care. See you Good there. See you. Thanks, Graham. All right, take care. Bye.